And it says in verse 16, for God so loved the world. He so loved the world. See, God still loves the world. You know, I've seen, you know, I've heard church people and stuff like that. You know, they don't want nothing to do with the world in that respect. But God loves the world. God loves the world. He don't like the world system, but he loves the people. And yes, we, we're not, you know, as Christians, we're not supposed to have anything to do with, you know, or be partakers in the evil systems of this world. But we're supposed to love the people and pray for the people and want to see them come into the kingdom of God. It says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world. Hmm. There's a whole lot of condemning going on today. But you know what? Jesus is not condemning. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. If you don't know him today, today, today would be a perfect day to get to know the Lord. Ask him into your heart. Verse 18 says, He that believeth on him is not condemned. If, you're, if you believe on Jesus Christ, if you have him in your heart and have him in your life, you're not condemned. But he that believeth not is condemned already. See, by, re, by not accepting Jesus Christ as your Savior, you're condemned already to a devil's hell. By neglecting to receive Jesus Christ as your Savior, you're automatically receiving the devil. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth uh, he that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation, and this is the condemnation. This is it. That light is coming to your world. Light is coming to the world, the Bible says, and light is coming into your world through people teaching and preaching the gospel. Light is coming into your world. And the scripture says in verse 19, and men loved darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. Men loved darkness rather than light. Right here at the radio and TV station, we want God's word to come out all the time. We want people to be blessed and people to be saved. But you know what? You have a choice. You can receive or you can reject it. You can walk in the light that God gives you. You can say, oh, yes, I see. Jesus Christ died for me and he is willing to save me. Or you can reject and say, ah, that's nothing. I don't believe that. Maybe I'll call on him before I die or on my deathbed. No, you better not wait till then because you might not have a chance. You might not have a chance on your deathbed. I'm telling you, I'm asking you to receive Jesus Christ today, inviting you to. You know, he's not going to strike you down and make you sick, give you cancer or something if you don't. But freely, he's offering you freely, come and drink of the water of life freely. And he'll make you one of his and I'm not saying your life will be perfect or you'll have a rosy life or you'll never have another problem. But I'll tell you what, you'll have somebody on your side, walking beside you, walking in you. Walking by your side, praise the Lord. Jesus Christ, the righteous, the Son of God. I'm going to pray for Sister Eva right now. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we send the word today to Sister Eva. Lord, and we just decree and declare, Lord, that her body is healed today and lines up with the word of God, Jesus, you took the stripes on your back for her healing. And Lord, I thank you right now. Sister Eva, receive it right now. Say, I receive my healing in the name of Jesus. I receive my healing in the name of Jesus. Lord, I believe that you bore your stripes on your back for my healing. And I receive it right now, Lord. I thank you. I agree with Sister Eva that by your stripes she is healed. Praise God. Now let it be manifested in her body. In Jesus' name. And we thank you for being tuned in today. I pray that this word has penetrated your heart today. And, and, and that you've heard it. And that you'll become a doer of the word instead of a hearer only. In Jesus' name. This is Sister Brenda saying you've heard God's word for today. Until next week, we love you.